to take advantage of today's real estate market. This week on The Brian Murray Show. Welcome to The Brian Murray Show, a real estate show, New Jersey style. Today's discussion point is three ways to take advantage of today's market. We have inflation, we have rising interest rates, we have a depressed stock market, but here are three ways that you can take advantage of today's real estate market. Number one, if you are a home buyer for yourself, guess what? It's party time. All the competition went away, or at least most of it did. Remember when you had to run into a home and over the weekend and there were 40 people at an open house and there were 20 offers or 10 offers on the house? Well, guess what? A lot of those buyers are scared now. So you can go into that open house and there might be two or three people or five people and there might be one offer or there might be two and it gives you a much better chance of getting the home that you want maybe not at a depressed price but it gives you a better chance of getting the home that you want and maybe you won't have to pay that much over ask for it so take advantage of the fact that you get the home that you want number two you still have great rates 4% on a 7-1 arm or thereabouts is a great rate. It's affordable. It's not 2%, it's 4 But long term, you're going to be so happy that you have it. And then if interest rates do go down, you can refi into something even better and long term. So not only do you get the home that you want, you get a rate that is still pretty good. Really, really good. Not pretty good, really good. The, number, the second way to take advantage of the market is investments. Everybody's like, well, Brian, but the interest rates went up, so the investment numbers don't look that great. Well, guess what? Again, you have less competition, and you're in it for the long haul. If you're buying real estate as an investment, it's a long-term play. It's not a one-year, three-year, five-year investment play. It's a long-term play. So it's the ability to get the property that you want today that you see long-term potential for, whether it's cash flow, whether it's appreciation. You get that choice. You simply did not have it at 2 3%. Yeah, the numbers looked a lot better, but there were a lot more people involved uh, in the competition, and there were homeowners involved there. So be glad, as an investor, that you get more choice. And as a seller, you're probably freaking out right now going, oh my gosh, we missed the window to sell. Where did you know, the 10,000 buyers go? Well, guess what? So there's five buyers instead of 10,000. So what? And more importantly, for most sellers, their biggest concern over the last six months has been, yeah, but where do I move to? I'd like to sell my house, but I have no place to buy. Well, guess what? It works that way too, because before you're a seller, you're a buyer. And now that place in the suburbs that there, had, there were 20 offers on and that you couldn't figure out how to get or you lost five bidding wars on. Guess what? Now maybe you'll actually be able to buy the home, move your family, have that backyard barbecue, enjoy that swimming pool this summer and have your kids in the schools this fall. So what is that worth to you? Is it worth maybe taking a little bit less on the home that you're selling to be able to buy a home maybe for a little bit less but to be able to buy it and not have to look and drive out every weekend and have fights with your spouse and be worried about like what your kids are going to do for school next year. Three ways you can take advantage of this market right now. Buyer, investor, seller. This is today's discussion point. Hoboken, Jersey City Market Report, May 24th, 2022. I'm Brian Murray and here's a look at the markets. So Hoboken's got 160 available condos. That number continues to rise in Jersey City, 194. Those numbers are up as well. Under contract last 30 days, Hoboken still 95. That's um, a little over a month and a half's worth of inventory in Jersey City. 62 in the last 30 days. So now we're over three months of inventory. You can see, oh my gosh, the sky is falling. A month and a half and three months of inventory. Yes, things are taking a little bit longer. Buyers are pulling back. Maybe now with Memorial Day weekend coming, you're going to look at next week and go, Brian, nothing happened. Guess what? Nothing ever happens Memorial Day week, weekend. So just prepare that next week is going to be an anom anomaly. And then, you know, we're really going to have to look two more weeks into the future to understand exactly where the market is. I can tell you 
that buyers are still out there. Buyers are taking advantage of the fact that there's less competition. It's not no competition, it's less competition. And sellers, you have to understand that if you put your home on the market and it doesn't sell in the weekend, it's not the end of the world. Don't set that expectation for yourself. That's not a normal market. We were in a crazy three month period that is now we're coming out of that into maybe more of a normalcy. So the market for Hoboken, Jersey City, May 24th, 2022, still pretty good. Reach out to me if you have specific questions about specific segments. Welcome to the Pro Realtor Tip segment. This is a new segment that we're deb debuting regarding Pro Realtor Tips. If you've seen any of my videos, my TikTok videos, my Reels, I do one minute clips on Pro Realtor Tips, but today I'm gonna to take you a little bit deeper inside. So today's Pro Realtor Tip is for buyers and what to do at a home inspection. So the home inspector will come in and they check the guts, they check the electric, they check the plumbing, they check the appliances, uh, they basically are there to check the outlets, make sure everything works is, is in working order. So what do you do as a buyer? Well the most important thing that you can do as a buyer is stay out of the home inspector's way and let them do their job because when they do find something they're going to either call you over at that particular time and point it out or at the end when they've gone through everything then they will go back over some of the things that all of the things actually that they found and explain them to you. I recommend that you video that part of it so that you can go back and re-watch that part because sometimes the home inspection report does not necessarily match their discussion points that they are required to sort of cover their butts in the report and they may say things that are that sound scary in the report but when they're talking to you they're gonna be like that's no big deal or this is kind of a maintenance issue versus a have to fix issue so the number one thing is to not follow the real the, the home inspector around number two when you're there here's the things that I recommend that you do do one, you find out where the water shutoff valve is for your home. Know it. So in case there is ever a flood, you know, a, a faucet that just goes berserk or something, you know where to shut the water off for the entire home so that it doesn't become a catastrophe. You don't want to be looking for that when the water's pouring out at like three gallons a minute, five gallons a minute. I don't know how fast it comes out, but fast. Number two. Spend some time with the home inspector understanding how to maintain your HVAC system, your heating cooling system, and your water heater. There's a couple of the valves on there and each one is a little bit different and each one of them uh, runs a little bit different. Spend some time paying attention to that because it'll, they'll teach you how to run them efficiently in the short term and in the long term so that when it cuts over from winter to summer you're switching it over from from heat to cool the system itself and not just a little button on the wall and that will save the life of your HVAC in a lot of cases. So ask questions, pay attention, hot water heater, heating, cooling. And number four, take measurements. This is probably the last time you're going to be in the home before walk through on closed day. So instead of having to come back and bother the seller and spend a lot of extra time take your measurements at that time you're going to have an hour maybe 90 minutes in the home take every measurement that you possibly want so that you know where your furniture will fit if you're ordering new stuff or if you're placing your old stuff into the place take all your measurements at that time this is today's pro realtor tip for what to do at a home inspection thank you so much for watching the brian murray show as always, all episodes of The Brian Murray Show can be found at themurraypropertygroup.com under the blog section. Like me, share me, comment me on Facebook, Instagram, Google My Business. I love Google My Business reviews. Check me out on TikTok as well. We're everywhere. We love comments. We love that you share us. We love that you get something from it. If there's anything that you disagree with in the show, make sure you reach out to me directly and I'll show you why you're wrong. Thanks for watching.